Good morning, traders. So we're still using the Bill Williams theory and uh, looking at the Aussie, the South African top 40. I'm starting off with a weekly, and uh, yeah, last week's bar is not one that looks very pretty to me. It's um, pretty much a hanging man at this stage. Obviously, we need confirmation, so we'd need a a bar, sort of a, a bit of a gap down, and then you know, a red bar as confirmation, which would give us confirmation that that is a hanging man. Uh, concern I've got is we're in this zone. You can see we pretty much tagged that uh, tail there, and that inside tail. So this is a, a second retest of the break. So here was our first one, and this is the second retest of the break here. So I'm, I'm not very comfortable with this at this stage. And the other thing that you can see here is we've got a high and a high high, which, uh, sorry, I was going to point out diversion, which doesn't exist. The diversion is from here. So there's our, our high. There's our high. We've got a lower high at the moment. Yet the oscillator's got a higher high. So draw a line across there. You'll see we're trending up. Draw a line there. We're trending down. Okay. Um, the trend here was broken, the weekly trend was broken, however, uh, because of the, the violence of this, this move to the downside, um, yes it was a trend line, but uh, technically speaking we are still below the, the alligator at the moment. So I'm a little bit weary of chasing any longs at the moment, and uh, I was pretty much weary the whole last week of actually trading this thing. So let's just have a look to see if there's anything that we can look at. So the first thing that's glaringly obvious is the 200 daily EMA. Okay, so the trend is up currently on the daily. You can see we are above the alligator. We're traveling up. We're coming into an area of resistance here. We've got the 200 moving average here. We've got uh, quite a few swing lows as well. So there's quite a bit of resistance coming up. Looking at the daily, you can see lots of tails over this month. Uh, no real decision as to what we're going to be doing. It's up and down, up and down. So typically when you see this, you need to either pick a different market, in my opinion, because you want uh, a trending market where it's trending properly, like it was here, or even this area here. Um, but when we sort of up green, red, green, red, green, red, you know, and then you can see the buyers are stepping in here. But the feeling I've got is, just based on the price action I'm seeing, is the buyers are stepping in, but they are aiming for a level. So it's either this 48,350 area, or um, more than likely we're going to stretch for 48,610. Okay, so I'm just going to move down to the time frame and just see if we can see anything. You can see last two weeks, we've really been going sideways. Okay, the only thing that is fairly interesting, okay, there you, we had a, a bit of a, a triangle. We still do have a triangle, a flat top triangle that is. You can see there's my trend line. And we're flirting with this level here. So we still do have a, a flat top triangle, but yeah, I'm not 100% convinced. Um, the last, that's basically Friday. If you look at the awesome oscillator here, no momentum at all, just flat. And I'm pretty wary about that. So let's just get a feel for something here. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm still not, uh, still not convinced either way of what's happening here. So let's just have a look at the international markets first. So firstly, first things first, the, the NASDAQ was up 1.2% on Friday. So this little bit of a rally was part of that, and uh, it rallied a little bit more after the, the close. So there is potential for a gap up. Tencent is 1% up at the moment. Um, US dollar, uh, Rand, that's sitting at 13.59 at the moment, which is uh, slightly down, and the S&P was up 0.8%. So 
So S&P is down slightly, NASDAQ futures are down slightly, oil's down slightly as well, plus the Rand dollar. So um, those factors coming into play will more than likely, at this stage, probably a gap up into some sort of resistance before a move to the downside. Um, yeah, I'm still not convinced. So what we do have here is we've got this wedge break. Okay, so there's our wedge break. A wedge, to break, a wedge target was hit as well. There wasn't a move into this, so we came down into a wedge target. So the wedge target was up here. So that target is gone. But there's nothing there. Uh, we don't have anything else uh, except for this potential head and shoulders forming. But we're going to have to break above uh, 48,350 for that to even start taking effect. And then that would give us a bigger pattern of this flat top triangle. Okay, so I think for for the Aussie today, I'm really going to, I'm going to stay out of this. Uh, I suspect we're going to get more of the same. So in other words, a big move in one direction, then another move in the, di in the opposite direction. You can see here, move up and then down. And then the buyer stepped in off the bottom. So this top gap has closed. I don't think it closed. No, it didn't quite close there. So it has closed now. So that gap is closed, but we've got this gap to the downside and we have quite a few more gaps to the downside. So we originally had five with this gap here, so we have another gap here, so still five gaps to the downside. Okay, that's kind of what I'm looking at at the moment and I think a way to play this, to be honest with you, let's get rid of the noise, is going to be the closing range breakout. That's the closing range. Unfortunately, it is 370. So that's a 370 point range, which basically means you're going to have to be very, very careful because that's how big your stop is going to be. Okay. Um, and I'm not entirely convinced either. Now there's, there's quite a few there's, there's breakouts happening all over the place. I mean, here's another breakout there. So that was we were kind of trending and then we broke up off the alligator as well. Um, yeah, so yeah. as I say, when uh, I'm not 100% convinced, I'd rather keep my money in my pocket. But I suspect we're going to have another attempt at this level here. Uh, let's just see what the month is looking like because that's pretty much what we are building. Lines down here that shouldn't be there. Okay, so we've had green, we had a follow up green candle. There's my swing high, and there's my next swing high there. So that's my zone that I'm looking for. Now, uh, from a Bull Williams perspective, this is going to be, okay, we've got an inside bar that's price action uh, and we've got confirmation, but we are coming up into an area of resistance. And the second thing that I want to look at here is that is the 50% Fibonacci. Okay, so essentially what I'm looking at here and we are very close to it, so there, there, and let's just put those in as well. So somewhere in these three lines, lines up with the alligator. Alligator has crossed over on the monthly. So my long-term view here on the monthly Is something like that. Okay. I'm looking for my second move. This could be a second move. There's my first one. There's my second move. But um, taking it from there to there, I'm looking for a second move off the alligator. 
So long term, I am looking for another move to the downside. Okay, so let's just get back to what we can do today. Delete the noise. So I'm looking for, and you can see this was a break or well, gapped up. Okay, so you may end up with the same situation, but there's sort of a gap up above here, a pullback to come and test, and then what you're looking for is a measured move of that to the upside. Let's go to the four hour and see where that takes us. Take us the daily. Not much there. Yeah, except for the 200 moving average. Okay, so there we go. So I think that's going to be my play. Right, so here we go. If we do get a close above here, so we're looking for a sort of a 12 minute close up here. Um, you can either take that trade or the stop here, or you can wait to see if there's a pullback or a better position to get in. So a better position would obviously be a retest of this breakout here, or even better, um, a close of this gap down here. Okay, and your stop would be below this pin bar. Okay, and uh, your target is going to be the 200 daily EMA at 48.540. But um, in that area, I am definitely looking for a short. That is an area where I think that's what I think we're stretching for. So, this consolidation here of trying to get there, trying to get there, trying to get there. If we do gap up, that's where we're going. But that level lines up with um, oh, pretty close to this inside tail here, this inside tail here. But it is a, it is a zone of, of resistance. Okay, you can see there's a previous, was used as support there. There's a previous swing high, support, support. So that's on the 200 daily moving average. So that is my area that I would expect us to get short again. And the big factor here is my oscillator on the weekly, which is grouping up here. Okay. And uh, when it's grouping here underneath the alligator, that's where I'm interested. You can see it's grouped there above the alligator for quite an extended period of time. But uh, this is where I'll be looking for it. 200 daily EMA is the area I'm looking for. And maybe just get it exact. So... We're looking at 48,600. So the 48,600 area is the area I'm looking for short. Until then, we will play the opening range breakout. So if it does break out, that's the target I'm looking for. Um, if we break to the downside, let's just get rid of that one, get rid of that one. So if we break to the downside, then the target we're looking for would be this inside, these inside tails here, okay? And if you look at this, you can see this is the channel we're in as well. Okay, so anyway guys, that's um, kind of my view. I'm, I'm not comfortable with it, I'll be honest with you, and uh, I may actually still just stay out of it. Okay, so until I see, maybe just wait for the short up at the top here, because that looks to me more of a, a decent trade than trying to chase this at the moment. Anyway guys, um, that's my view on it anyway. So uh, whatever you do, please keep your stops really tight. Uh, this thing can go either way. Mm. It can gap up, and find some kind of support or resistance on one of these tails here, and then reverse and come down and hit the bottom target. Or it could uh, just open flat and then head straight down. Or it could just go sideways for the whole day. You know? Um, there's no real clear direction right now, so um, I'm very cautious with this. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope that helped you somewhat, and um, stay safe, keep those stops tight, and enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers for now.